Hi, and welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Uh, for those of you who have been following my tutorials, I'm um, sorry I didn't get to put a video out last week. I was pretty busy. Uh, but this week I have a tutorial on how to find brushes online, then download them and import them into Photoshop so you can use them on your projects. So to get started, you're going to need to find a website that uh, can supply you with those brushes. Um, there's three that I recommend um, that I found so far. Uh, BrushEasy.com, which we'll be using today. Uh, also BrushKing.com and MyPhotoshopBrushes.com. So to get started, uh, you can just come down here and search something. I'm just going to search for some uh, abstract, uh, like abstract uh, brushes, and so just click uh, search, and it should bring up a new window. All right, and now I'm just going to click on this one. I've already looked at it, so I know that it is uh, suitable for this tutorial. So as you can see here, it has some comments about the uh, about the brush, and it has some uh, information like how many downloads and the rating and stuff. Um, but you can also click uh, preview, and it brings up a little light box here. And this is actually what you're going to see in Photoshop. It's going to show you these in your brush palette. <clears throat> you may recognize uh, a similar thing like uh, your default brushes, like the the one with the faded edges and the one that's like a solid black circle. Um, these are the squares that are going to show up for this type of brush. So I just close that and what we're going to do is download this and we're just going to save it and we're going to save it to the desktop and we're just going to call it abstract. Abstract. Okay. That is an R. Okay. So we're just going to save that to the desktop and it's a quick download so it's finished. All right, now what we're gonna do is we can just minimize this. We don't need that anymore. And we can minimize that. And I'm just gonna open up my program files. So let me just get this in the screen here for you. And what we're gonna do is find that folder. And so I saved it on the desktop. So we're just going to find, it's called abstract. So, da, da, da. where's it at? I am going to do abstract. So you can see I have a lot of stuff on my desktop. All right, so now we found the file. So we're just going to, we're inside of this folder called abstract. We're just gonna, I don't know, I didn't click that. Um, we're just gonna right click uh, copy. And then what we're gonna do is come over and find your program files folder. So for me, it's under desktop, computer, uh, C drive program files. It might be somewhere different for you, uh, but you just need to find that and open it. So here you can see all the files you have on your computer or the folders that contain those files. And we need to find the one that says Adobe. So find that and double click. And then find Photoshop and double click on that. So now you see all the files that have to do with Photoshop. So we're looking for the one that says presets. So double click on that. And now you see a bunch of folders that are pretty much anything that you can upload into Photoshop and mess with is in here. You've got patterns, you've got scripts, you've got styles, textures, all kinds of stuff you can also get on the internet and upload that makes your life a lot easier. So today we're gonna be going with the brushes folder. So double click on that and you can see some of the brushes that I have. I have like assorted brushes and abstract lights, brushes and stuff. Um, and what we're going to do is just right click and then paste in here. So it's going to ask me to continue because that's how I have it set up with my computer. So we're just going to continue and it's going to paste that file in here. So now we should be good to go to test it in Photoshop. <clears throat> One note that I want to make is that if Photoshop is open you're going to need to close it because in order for the effects to well take effect um, Photoshop needs to be closed and then reopened um, in order for you to see your new brushes. So just close uh, your program files and then open up Photoshop. So just do file, new, and 600 by 500 is okay. Um, now what we're going to do is come to our brushes and you can see um, they're not there. All right nothing you just have your default brushes or maybe you have some other ones um, you 
just have these regular ones. Um, how you actually get to where you can use the new ones is you click on this little tab here and it'll open out a flyout menu on the right. And what you need to do is go down to the brush name or like the name of the file and that is the Roman Abstract 3. So just click on that. It's going to ask you if you want to replace these brushes or if you want to append them. Now if you replace them it's just going to take all your default brushes out and put the four that we just downloaded in. So those are going to be the ones that come up when you click this little button here. Now if you append it it's just going to add them all to the end. So I'm going to do append that way I still have my default brushes and as you can see down here we have all the brushes. So as you can see here um, they're pretty large but that's good because you can scale them up to whatever size you need and you can actually start using them right now in your project. I'm just going to give you a little example of how easy these are to use. <clears throat> so just click on, I'm just going to make a black one, a black background. Um, where's my paint bucket? And just click, I just made that black. I'm going to actually make a new layer that way if I want to um, change the brush at all, I can. So just make a new layer and I have this one. Let's make it a bluish color and I can just click and as you can see now I have a pretty cool abstract light thing and it actually kinda looks like fire so I mean you can make some really cool stuff with this without actually having to have too much Photoshop knowledge so that's why I love uh, brushes because it just makes stuff so much easier for you um, so you can actually take and rotate this now that it's on its own layer or you can add um, like layer effects or do whatever you want to it move it around change the color erase part of it I mean, it's pretty much limitless what you can do. Um, so there you go, guys. Now you can start using brushes in your, um, or like custom brushes in your projects. So if you um, are on the internet and find any good brushes, uh, post a link as a response to this video. Um, and I want you guys to make sure you subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.